Yeah, okay, it's working. Um, yes, exactly. So this actually touches very well to the presentation before because um, this is a very good way to contribute. But a lot of time people come to me and say, you know, uh, I don't even know what to talk about or I don't know how to structure it. I'm getting lost while I build it. Um, so um, a while ago I put together a, um, a kind of course, uh, a few uh, interactive classes that um, boils down to four very basic steps. Uh, and I took inspiration from this guy um, because, I mean, it was a really, really good inspiration. And he told me that, well, I should do things presenting like a boss, right? And I was thinking about it. How do you do that? Well, first you have B. Um, B, B means benchmark. Uh, this is a step that a lot of people skip, but it's incredibly useful, not just because you gain awareness, but also because you gain confidence. You see that maybe another person talked about exactly the same topic, and, they're going to, and they said something wrong, or they said something that you don't agree with, or they say too little. So this, this is a very good thing. And also, on the positive side, you see what they did good, so you can borrow things. So benchmarking is it's very useful, but in general, so you, you, benchmarking means also who I'm going to speak to. I'm speaking to developers, I'm speaking to designers, product managers, what kind of people are going to be in the audience. Um, but also other speakers that are speaking the same day. Uh, this helps a lot to, to frame your talk. And once you did that, um, this is another very difficult thing, but it's very useful. Do one thing. People are going to listen to a lot of talks that day, even more if there are flash talks. But you want them to remember at least something. Um, so it's incredibly useful if you frame your presentation in terms, okay, I'll start from here. What is the one thing I want them to remember at the end of it? One thing. Maybe an acronym, maybe a sentence, maybe a word, maybe a technique, maybe a tool. But what is that one thing? Um, and that's just it. So what they can remember, right? And then we have storytelling. Um, storytelling is very useful because uh, there are a lot of people that are really great in creating models. But as Jenny said before, sometimes it's just about your own story. Sometimes by telling the story, you're actually adding all the small details that made a difference. So. When you, when you say, even when you describe a model, when you describe a technique, when you describe something abstract, try adding uh, something to yours, something that is a story that exists, or something that you just borrowed again from someone else that it was a really good story, um, and it makes everything richer and more memorable. And then we have style. Um, style isn't just, uh, I mean, personal style. Um, but it's really a very simple way to uh, create your own identity. So in terms of appearance, just slide design or anything else. Also your body language is something you, you, you can start to take care about. Sometimes there are people who say, well, you know, I'm very clumsy on stage and I'm very nervous. It's fine. That's just who you are. Just get on stage, embrace it and go ahead. And it's, it's not a problem. You adjust your style. Just go with it. Um, and if you're really, really not sure, just look at other people. Look at other people that present around. Oh, and if someone looks good, you just copy them. That's a great style. What, how do they move? What do they do on stage? Um, how are their slides? I just borrow them. Maybe I change a couple of colors. I change the typography, and that's it. And you start with that, and you see how it goes. And the next time you improve and maybe you borrow another piece of someone else and you build what's your own. So um, this is a really very simple thing. Four step, how to present like a boss, right? Benchmark, one thing, storytelling and style. If you want a little background, so there are a lot of talks about presentations and how to do presentations, uh, which is great. But I wanted to tell you something slightly different um, that is made to stick. So how to forge or create a story that actually is memorable, that people remember over time. This is a great book on the subject if you want to read it. And that's it. 
the objective is really try to simplify and try to get to that one point. Thank you very much. Thank you.